We are privileged to welcome in a pro baseball Hall of Fame voter, Hal McCoy. Hal, welcome to the Odd Couple. Thank you. Great to see you and hear you. Mr. Yes, Hal McCoy, great to have you on. No doubt about it. Chris, give me two minutes. Hal, get embarrassed <laughs> for two minutes, all right? <laughs> Hal McCoy is a Hall of Famer himself, inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. I remember listening to your speech, Hal, on the radio. Hal even mentioned me in his Hall of Fame speech. I had the privilege of working side by side with him for two years. Uh, I was at the Cincinnati Enquirer and Hal was at the Dayton Daily News. Hal taught me how to play tennis. Hal taught me how to cover baseball. True professional. One of the best people I've ever met. And real quick, on my first day at the job in Cincinnati at the Enquirer, my laptop didn't work, Chris. And guess what? This new hotshot reporter comes from New York. Hal doesn't know <laughs> me from Adam. And he says to me, don't worry about it. He says, I'll write my story I'll give you my laptop, and you can write the story and send it into the paper. How many guys would do that? <laughs> no, nah, that's great. That is a Hal, great story. You that know, how I love story. you, Hal. You're the best. Well, that, well, I love you, too, and you're too kind, my friend. You know how I <laughs> feel about you. We had some great times together in Cincinnati. We sure did, All right. man. All we right, did. enough of the romance. All right, the love fest. Let me All get right. to the Hall of Fame. All right. <laughs> Hal, yeah, nobody, no, <laughs> <laughs> nobody gets in today. Do you agree with that? Uh, um, I don't know that I agree, but I am not surprised. Uh, the ballot was uh, a little flimsy this year, uh, yep. not real strong. And then you have uh, uh, the uh, so-called steroid guys that uh, a lot of people are against. So did not surprise me at all. How did you did you make your ballot uh, public? Because my ballot is public. Uh, yes. Okay. Can you share your ballot? We would love to hear what, what who you voted for. Uh, let's see if I can remember. I voted for uh, Billy Wagner. I voted for Omar Vizquel. Uh, I voted for Scott Rowland. Uh, there are a couple others I don't okay. really recall. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. this. This is the thing Chris and I, we talk about all the time. Kurt Schilling has this thing. He thinks that the writers uh, are holding a grudge against him or whatever. And how we've talked about this forever. If right. writers held a grudge, Barry Bonds would have never won seven MVPs. If writers <laughs> were racist or whatever, or didn't like people, uh, Jackie Robinson would have never won right. Rookie of the Year, 1947. People need to know the BBWAA has been around since 1908. It's not a fly-by-night organization. And how you can speak to that. People take these votes seriously. It's a small group of people. Am I right? Or, 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 or does, does he have a – and here's the other one. He thinks because he's conservative or Republican or a Trump guy, Mariano Rivera is the biggest Trump guy going, and he got it unanimously. <laughs> Yeah, that has nothing to do with it. Couldn't agree with you uh, more than 100% on what you say. Uh, it is a tough task, and, uh, uh, you know, I take it seriously, and I think almost every guy who owns one of those ballots, you know, including you, take it very seriously, and it's a very, very tough thing to do. I mean, I, ag I agonize over it, and uh, it's, it's just a really difficult thing. Now, how Rob votes for... The, the PED guys, Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, Sammy Sosa. Where are you on that? I Have don't not, I do not vote. No, everybody has their opinion. And uh, I think the back of the ballot, what people forget is when on the back of the ballot, it says uh, integrity and character and sportsmanship should be considered. And uh, while Barry Bonds may have been one of the greatest hitters of all time, and uh, Roger Clemens, one of the greatest pitchers, uh, I can't vote for him on integrity, and uh, I can't vote for him on character. I mean, uh, Barry Bonds admitted that he took PEDs, although he said he didn't know he was taking them because he didn't know that his personal trainer was giving them to him. Uh, Clemens was named in the Mitchell Report, so uh, I, I just have to uh, not vote against him. Now, here's my, here's, here's my only problem is that we have, for whatever reason, picked out a couple of guys, these guys, 
But if 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 the integrity part is the no one has asked the Yankees to give back their championships if they benefited from guys on PEDs. Uh, managers who had guys who were allegedly on PEDs have gotten into the Hall of Fame. Uh, the commissioner who oversaw this got into the Hall of Fame. And then here's the other thing. You have guys in there, whether, whether we you know, want to acknowledge it or say that we have exact proof, like a Pudge Rodriguez who was implicated in the book, Jose Canseco, like a uh, Mike Piazza, how, who's been rumored for a long time, like a Jeff Bagwell, why are we allowing everybody else to go in but except for a handful of guys who may have been caught up in the scandal? That, that's, uh, why, that's, that's my I, argument. I can't, yeah, I, I, I understand your argument, and uh, I, uh, I, you know, I can't speak for other voters, but all of those guys that you mentioned, I didn't vote for them. So, okay, you know, you're consistent every, then. You're consistent. Yes, that's, that's, what, that's what you have to be, uh, as consistent as you can be. See, I agree with that. I agree with that, Hal, because someone was asking me, how come I didn't vote for Kurt Schilling? And I said, I didn't vote for Mike Mussina. I didn't vote for uh, uh, Jack Morris. I'm consistent. Those are guys to me, Hal, were all very good, but not yes. a Hall it's of Fame. It's not a very good Hall of Fame. It's a great Hall of Fame. And I, I didn't vote for those three guys either because they are very good players. But to me, they were not Hall of Fame players. Now, Hal, you you covered the game for a long time. And Rob and I have talked about this. You know, back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, I mean, guys were taking the the greenies, as they called them, right. by the right. handful, which are now, you know, amphetamines and banned by the league. Uh, do you? How do you look at that? Because, I, I mean, I'm not equating that necessarily to what – you know, Bonds and Clemens did, but but they though they did take substances that would be performance enhancing, at least on the list today. Today, right? Yeah, today. But back then they were not banned, and uh, they were uh, definitely been been in use. I mean, I saw them uh, myself in the clubhouse and didn't think anything about it. But uh, you know, now uh, they are a banned substance. So there you go. It, it, it is an incredible thing, and we'll see how this plays out. How we've seen people, last question from me, get a, you know, get a push. I, I don't believe, if I don't vote for you the first time, how I never vote for you. And if I vote for you the first time, I always vote for you the same time because your stats don't change. But we saw with Larry Walker, who jumped 15 points percentage you know, on his last year. What do you expect right. to happen with Bonds and Clemens you know, their, their vote totals haven't gone down. They've inched up. Not big not right. big gains, but they have inched up. Do you think maybe people will push them across next year? I think that's a very good possibility. It's their last year on the ballot, I think you'll probably get enough guys who will change their mind and say, you know, uh, we've punished them enough. Now we'll get them in. But I don't know. I think I've told you this uh, all along. My opinion is exactly what you say. Your statistics do not get better as the years go on right i i think i think a guy should be on the ballot one year I, if he doesn't make it you're out <laughs> how i i 100 percent agree because either you're a hall of famer or you're not it shouldn't be oh i got in on the 10th year or the ninth year right. or the, it doesn't right. make any his stats don't get any better yeah. yep first year and out that's my opinion well how Excellent stuff. We we appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining. And the Chris, Oscar. if you want to blame anybody for my career, blame Hal McCoy from the <laughs> Dayton Daily News. You got a great career, man. You're my best man. Oh, <laughs> hey, Hal, give Nadine a kiss, my man. Stay in great health. Stay in touch, man. And again, I love you, and I wish you nothing but uh, the best success. You could go to HalMcCoy.com and read his column. He's still writing columns. Right. Absolutely. Thank you, buddy, for having me. I appreciate it. All right, Hal. Thank you. We appreciate the you time. You don't hear Come. me sound like a schoolgirl over, over <laughs> most guys, Chris. <laughs> yeah, well, look, and we had Hal McCoy on the Hall of Fame writer and voter. And and, and I didn't want to, you know, Hal obviously in the debate, you know. Yeah, he yeah. Ain't, he ain't gonna... like us, so I wasn't going to go at him. Um, but when he said, you know, we, we, we disagree, like when he talked about the other players in the past taking the greenies, and which are now banned. 
Um, and they weren't at that time. But Rob, now I I will give him this. There is a difference in that, even though PEDs weren't banned, right? When Bonds right. was was doing it by the league, there was everyone knew it was wrong, right? There no, was I, this I, feeling right. that it was wrong. Whereas in the seventies, they're taking the bowl, you know, greenies from the bowl. You know, like nobody thought M&Ms. it was a big deal, right? right. So I will. There is a difference in that regard. I'm bup, just bup. my main thing with that, Rob, is that when we we tend to look at Hank Aaron and Willie Mays and and Mickey Mantle and you know all these great numbers from the past and think and act like they were totally without any performance enhancement. And and I'm just saying, generally, guys were taking green. Now they weren't doing that we know of the the PEDs and steroids. You know, but I'm just saying if they they got enhancement most likely and so did the guys of this era, you know, or this past steroid era. So, you know, I think you got to just take the numbers for what they are. And and I do want to say this for people who think that PEDs, Chris, and steroids are are something new. Absolutely. Do you know Lyle Alzado? You know Lyle Alzado, former football. Guess when he started taking – Anabolic steroids. You ready? Take take a guess on what year Lyle Alzado started was, taking steroids. He was in the NFL in the seventies and eighties, right? Right. This guy um, was a, was so a three time All Pro in the seventies. Yep. Right. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say late sixties. Some some point. Nineteen sixty nine, Chris. They were yep. around. Yep. Don't act well, like this is new. Is what I'm just saying. No, you're right. You don't know if there were people. Who were taking it wasn't like everybody was doing it, but it was available in 1969. Well, and even before that, well, you know the article from the pitcher Tom House who played in the major yep. leagues in the 60s and 70s. He said dudes were trying everything. Yep. You know everything. Now again, we don't know necessarily who was doing what, um, but yeah, look, Rob, and and this used to make me laugh when Bud Selig and 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 people would be like, you know, after the McGuire Sosa right. and all that. And they'd be like, you know, we just didn't know. Which is it was a lie. 1998. A we, I mean, who knew about steroids? And I'm thinking, I played high school football in Iowa in 1982. And you knew about it. Dudes on the t- were taking steroids on your team. There were. I was on the freshman team at right. my first but you, freshman. Okay, year, but right. varsity, some there varsity guys, guys taking guys, steroids. Yeah. Wow. yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you know, and so that, that's Iowa in the 80s. So come on. Right, you know, so yeah, it, it, there's to no act doubt like they don't it. know it. But, but today was another vote against uh, PEDs. Chris, no Hall of Famers were voted in. Uh, Bonds and Clemens ticked up a little bit. There's still a chance they got one They're year still left below, on the. What are they? Where are they at now? Sixty-two. Say like sixty-two. So they need that seventy-five. Look good, right? Yeah, it doesn't. But it. But 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 we've seen guys vote on their last year where people finally give in. Because if they don't get in, Chris, they can never be voted in by the writers, and then it would have to be a veterans committee kind of deal. And it's kind of, it feels sure like it's coming the, through the back door. Yeah, and I'm not sure if the vets, you know, they broke records. You know what I mean? I right. mean, do you know, players can be like, you know, they may think he broke it. it was, he did. There's no doubt he was taking, you know, performance enhancement drugs. But, um yeah, I don't know if they'll vote him in, but it, it just feels like it'd be a shame if those guys don't get in. They no, were such it would an be, and the Hall of Fame of would be would be vacant. Would would not feel the same without those guys. Those two are the best right. of the best. And and Chris, you knew this even before the steroid use. These guys were winning MVPs and Cy Youngs right. before they even dabbled in it. I'm not making an excuse. I'm just saying. It ain't like they were scrubs the first half of their career, right? Never got a they Cy Young. They were Hall Young. of Famers then. No, no exactly. Doubt. They were Never no got doubt a, Hall of Famers. Barry Bonds had three MVPs in Pittsburgh. Three. Yep. 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 Before he doubled in size. Because he did. His he went got from like Alfonso Cer- Soriano. Exactly. To, you know, to, he was about Soriano's size. You know what I'm right. saying? But, uh, all right. 